I'm Anita Dash, and I'm here inside the Hub Culture Studio. It is Davos 2022. Really pleased to be joined by Himanshu Gupta. Thanks for coming along. Well, thanks for having me here, Anita. Co-founder, CEO of Climate AI. Now, we are in a situation where food insecurity is an enormous problem from the war in Ukraine, from climate change. Tell me, first of all, just give me the sense of how big this issue is for how many people. Yeah. Um, so, first of all, I think uh, food security and climate change has always been a big problem uh, and increasing day by day. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, the Ukraine crisis has brought it to the forefront. There are close to uh, a billion farmers uh, uh, who, uh, who own less than one acre, uh, but are very uh, important for the local food supply chains. At the same time, they're also consumers uh, in those countries, right? Uh, so they are uh, under a double whammy, A, because climate change is making farming unprofitable altogether, mm. um, and B, uh, because the food prices are increasing. So they, them and their families are having to decide between like putting their kids to school um, or spend on mm. farming, uh, spend on, on food. So I'd love you to give me a sense of what you do and how you approach the problem. Yeah. So our mission um, at Climate AI is to climate proof global food and agriculture supply chains while ensuring zero loss of lives, livelihoods uh, and nature. Um, so what uh, some of the work that we do with seed companies mm -hmm. is, is to help them launch climate resilient seeds to market uh, cheaper and faster. Um, and I think the world needs it. It's, it's, uh, it's an urgent crisis right now. Um, what we noted is, is that it takes 10 to 15 years to launch um, a new seed to the market. So let's say if you want to launch a drought resistant corn uh, for Zambia, um, it will take you three or four years to conduct trials. Uh, and then another five or 10 years, five to six years to uh, commercialize those trials. And then mm -hmm. three to four years to launch it in full mode commercialization. Um, and even then, by the time you launch it, climate has already changed. And right. so many farmers have left farming altogether by that time, right? Um, so we developed this uh, platform, which was developed, came right out of Stanford University, mm -hmm. where uh, the seed company, the breeders um, or uh, supply chain managers can come to a platform, basically draw a circle on the map uh, where they think, uh, currently, you could plant something; it would grow. Yeah, it could plant something or grow, or you, or the areas where they see high yields of of mm -hmm. corn under drought, then the artificial intelligence will automatically extract climate features and soil mm -hmm. features uh, that is allowing that area to uh, have high yields of corn, and then pattern match it to the new areas coming up um, uh, around Zambia where the seed could be grown. So that mm -hmm. process that takes two to four years. And half a million dollar per trial now takes basically a couple of hours wow. um, and 10% of that original cost. So what is your message for um, folks listening to this? Um, I think it's uh, to me coming from a developing economy myself, coming from a low income household mm -hmm. myself. Um, I think uh, we need preparations at a war footing level. And now this could be solved. Um, uh, come to think of what we did with uh, with COVID vaccines. Mm -hmm. We went from zero to five billion back vaccines uh, uh, from research to trials to full-scale deployment. Mm -hmm. I think we need similar uh, technologies being deployed, uh, finance being deployed uh, from, from north to south. Yeah. At the same time, uh, treating farmers as, uh, as an end, not as a means to an end. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming through into the Hub Culture studio here in Davos, and I'm Edie Lash. Well, thanks for having me.